Hello, I'm Petru and welcome to another lesson on WellCode. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Atom, which is a text editor that will allow you to execute every C++ program that you are writing. Please follow this tutorial till the end because as lessons on WellCode will become more and more difficult, you will need to execute the examples and maybe even modify them because by doing that, you will understand every instruction at a deeper level. If you are watching this video on YouTube, go on wellcode.com right now. We have a course over there from which you can learn how to write code. You don't need any prior experience and we also have a free trial so you can go right now on wellcode.com and start learning for free. The first thing that we need to do is to download Atom. We can just search for Atom text editor and go on the first result and just download it. I'll show you how to install it on Windows. The configuration and the installation is way easier on Linux or Mac, so I'll show you how to do it on Windows. And if you have any trouble, you can ask on our Facebook group, but probably you won't hit anything. Now we are launching the setup and we will install it. This is my favorite setup because it has this nice animation. I don't think I know any other program which has the same kind of pleasant graphics in it. And now the setup has completed and now we can use the text editor. First of all, we need to install an extension which will allow us to run C++ code. We click here on install package and now we are searching for C++. And now we will install GPP compiler which will allow us to run and compile C++ within Atom. Because Atom is just an editor and we installed this extension, we also need to download a compiler for this extension. For uh, Linux and Mac, the instructions are very straightforward. We just need to copy this command. And for Windows, we need to download this compiler. We will go here under Downloads and then we will download the compiler collection and we need to look for the 32-bit compiler and the bin archive. Now the download will start soon and we will download an archive and we need to extract this archive. I'm using 7-zip but you can use any kind of program which can extract this kind of archive. And now we have the compiler here inside bin are the compilers. And now that the compiler has been extracted, we have it right here. We need to add it to path as the instructions are saying. It says here, add it to your path and it links to a tutorial. You can follow this. I'm just going to search for environments environment variables and then click here on environment variables and edit path. I already have it um, right here, but I'm going to delete it and add it again. I'm going to click here on new and then I'm going to copy the path from here. I just need to paste it right here. And now if I click here on if I create a source file first, new file, I need to save it. I'm gonna go here and say example.cpp and I can just say include iostream using namespace std and then print hello world and return zero and now I just need to click on F5 and the program will be executed. I can also read a variable and then print it on the screen A is and then A. If you don't want to press F5 you can also right click on the source code and click on compile and run and then the same thing will happen. 
This was the whole tutorial and now I wish you good luck and keep on learning.